Hello everybody, it's I did Luigi Big Mac. Welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we we destroyed the internet and now we now we have to stop Hugh Bliss from uh, hypnotizing the world. And Bosco's a woman. Don't question it. Uh let's not ask that and just say we, we want to buy, buy something. something. Did you finish all your chores? Yes. Okay, you can get one thing. One. What you got? What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker. And it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. Uh, Knowing you, Bosco, I'm sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion? <laughs> you crazy fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of, and you keep paying it. That's so true. I ask you, who's the crazy one? Well, with a sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, no earthquakes in the house. All right, do you have do any... Do you have any completed artificial personality disorder symptoms forms? Mm-hmm. You do? Wow, that really would have come in handy earlier. <laughs> That's a callback to the first episode. Do you have any or the first part. video of a chicken eating cow manure for laughs? Mm -hmm. What? No way! That's, that's a reference to part two. Do you have any global meatball sandwich positioning systems? Mm hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! That's part three. Do you have any three foot by two foot cue cards that say don't vote for me? Mm hmm. What? I can't believe this! Yep. Uh, that's that's uh, part four. A bleak give up must die. Any instant win cheat codes for reality 2.0? Mm hmm. Oh, why didn't we ask before? Do you have any? Do you have Hugh Bliss tied up back there? Mm mm. Uh. Hey, I was on a roll. Do you have any completed? Mm -hmm. You do? Wow, that. Okay, yep, never mind. Never mind. You know, Bosco, we've collected some pretty valuable merchandise on our travels. And we have the sneaking suspicion you've got a little extra spending money. So how'd you like to buy something from us for a change? Okay. Do you have any... copies of the uncensored 1982 Armand Asante lookalike contest on Betamax? Nope. Oh, well. That's the only thing I really need, honey. Well, it was worth a try. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pigsty. Alrighty then. All right. Well, we visit Bosco's. That that didn't really do much. Ah, uh, let's see. Wait, isn't there a microwave here? Wait a minute. What if if we were the cheat? Up and the game's frozen, which means we did something. Aha! Success. His little horn's nice and red. Wow. I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If all we needed to do was just... Wait, it's like, it's like those, uh... It's, it's, it's like those uh, promotional pencils where you just rub it and change its color. All you have to do is keep rubbing it and it would have turned red. What's this gumball? What's in the well, gumball machine be, anyway? The gumball machine actually contains gumballs. Huh. That is interesting. Hi, hi Jimmy Two Teeth. Bye, Jimmy Two Teeth. Now back to the moon! To the moon, Alice. There we go. Oh, I was hoping to see them, like, fly off in the background. Well. Well, well, we got the red unicorn, so let's just get into the, uh, the blister of tranquility. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, okay. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. 
And just like that, we <laughs> access. And here we are. What the? Sam, what Sam, the fuck is this is. place? It's Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I. Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news! My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete! <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous! <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo, bravo! Outstanding! Yeah. Outstanding! Wait a minute. Awesome. This guy really knows how to work a room. Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. Ha <laughs> ha! An entire planet of prismatologists. It's like a dream. The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right. The best kind. P.S. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you. Well, I know what we're doing, but I guess let's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's a water cooler? Mr. Spatula, so this is where you've been. We were worried sick. Couldn't you at least have left a note? Yeah, uh, sorry, Sam. He sent us an email. <laughs> I meant to tell you. Well then, uh, let's talk to Lincoln. Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of... Oh, it's you two. Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are ya? I can still bite off your fluffy little... Uh, I mean... Let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of peace and brotherhood. Sounds blame. Bathe in the yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? What's your problem? You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only a grade A sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Grade A? <laughs> I'm flattered. Let's see. So, why are you so upset? Why long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all happening so fast. I don't know what to say. Not you, moron. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. You mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? It's like a chorus of angels. Aren't you married? What about Mary, your mannish but devoted wife? Why don't you find a nice giant statue of her? Settle down and start cranking out little bouncing baby war memorials. There are none left. Lady Bird Johnson had all graven images of former first ladies destroyed during the Great Enlightenment of 1963. Oh, that's sad. Uh... We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. Hello, if you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello, Civil Pandemic speaking. Uh, hi, it's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, you've got some nerve calling after how you treated me. Wait, don't hang up. Uh, let's just say, let's just relax, baby. <laughs> just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. Lady, you a stone cold fox. Lady, you a stone cold fox. Seriously? All right. Damn. Play some one-on-one love hockey. 
I figure we watch a hockey game, have a couple of beers, get some poutine. You know, the usual. Oh, Abe. I never knew you had such a deep appreciation for my culture. It all sounds wonderful. Come over as soon as you can. Was that... Did she actually say yes? Hello! You just totally scored. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Lincoln. Oh my gosh. What if she wants to get serious? I can't do this. I'm so nervous I've got butterflies. I have to ask. Where? Stand back, Max. Wherever they are, I have a feeling they're coming back up. Oh, I don't feel so good. What if she... Uh-oh. And I can't... Oh, man. And here I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring. Max, be a sport and pick that up for me. Not a chance. Hey, Lincoln, can I take this? I'm not sure why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to worry about. Ooh. Well, well, Lincoln's uh, giant spork. Wait, spork? Oh, that! I think that's the biggest, meanest-looking spork I ever saw outside of Chicago. Oh, that! Oh, that! Uh, Hugh Bliss gone too far now. Is the rainbow supposed to be going in or coming out? I think it depends on which way you're facing. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, oh, wait. oh, yeah, we can run here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Maybe you know. Let's go back to the door to the surface. Uh, let's see, we can... Lovely shirt. One moment, please. Okay, go ahead. Alright, let's... Use the talisman on Max. Ooh, colorful. It really should... Alright. Uh, let's see what happens if we were... Let's see, what happens if we were to give to Max? Here, Max, hold this. I meant in your hands, but whatever. Okay, yep, there we go. That, that's how we That's how we escape. That's how we uh, leave with it. One moment, please. Okay, go ahead. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Oh, that was easy. And, well, now, now that we got that, let's use the talisman on him so we can get it back out. Hey, it's that display case. Thanks, little pal. Aw, oh, I was saving that. For what? It's complicated. But it has to do with my personal vendetta against a certain major coffee house chain. Well then, uh, let's talk to the let's talk to the COPS. Look. Oops, shit. They don't sound very happy to see us. You destroyed Reality 2.0. Destroy! Remember your bliss. Adopt a more positive attitude now. Alrighty. That's... So, what are you doing here? What are your here? computers doing here on the moon? Prismatology has restored our sense of purpose. After you destroyed Reality 2.0, we banded together to make a newer, even better game. Coming soon. It will rock your world! You came to a private retreat on the moon to work on something as insubstantial as a video game? Not just any game. We are creating the most advanced AI in history. In a world where two forces battle for domination of a war-torn landscape, only one will draw the line and reign supreme. Do you get to shoot stuff? It's not a good game until you get to shoot stuff. Thank you for your feedback. We will incorporate shooting into version 2.0. Alright, uh, you, let's try that video game. Max and I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! 
The year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are a cybernetically enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. Are you the chosen one foretold by prophecy? Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tick, doom. Tick, tick, doom. Uh, let's just. Death to infidels. Uh, you, let's go the here. Oh, <laughs> wow! I... Actually, I just kind of did. Yeah, roar. By your calculations, your chances of winning were one in ten trillion. The sun was in my eyes. Thank you for playing Tic Tac Doom. We'll continue to look within ourselves and improve our award-winning AI to make it even more challenging. It was too short and not hard enough. I want my money back. Please try again later. Let's you know, and hey cops. We would like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated. Do you have the strength to survive? Tick tack doom. All right. You will fail. So okay, so so the so the trick here is just to uh oh. throw the game. Uh I am invincible. All right, I'm just going to do that. Fear me. There we go. You are destroyed. Oh darn! You beat me fair and square. Good game. I totally beat you guys. Our journey of personal awareness is now complete. We have mastered the most there we advanced go. artificial intelligence ever created. You suck so bad, hello. Let me try, Sam. I know I can take him. As super sophisticated AI entity. Brother, speak so that the primitive earthlings may understand. Of course. We smart, you dumb. No more need look within self. Hey, can we take this? Congratulations! You've won free tickets to self-awareness. Cool! The effects are limited to those of Clumia's composition. What did he say? The amazing ability to see through lead may be inappropriate for some viewers. Huh. Alrighty, so we just got the lead vision talisman. So... Let's see. Well, we have to go back outside now. Again. Let's see. Somebody left a footprint here in the dust. My foot's bigger! Let's see. Rocket engine. That's quite a rocket engine. Wait a minute. Hmm. This might sound dumb, but what if we put the display case in the rocket engine? Whee! And, and then, if we use the lead vision... Hmm. Nothing happened. It's a lunar lander. Alright, and let's see. If we were to do this on a hmm. lunar... Nothing happened. Okay. This this is some sort of puzzle. Wait wait a minute, hold on. I'm I'm stupid. Max, get out the fucking way. Okay. No sorry. Nah. -uh. Let's see. Let's see. How do we? How do we? How the hell do we unlock the door? Nothing doing. Hmm. This is this is starting to make my brain hurt. Let's see. Quite a rocket engine. Uh, 
Is there anything else I, I can use here to uh, unlock it? Because I'm not seeing anywhere else I can use it, potentially use it no on. Way. Because we can't use it on the rocket engine. Nah. We can't use it. We can't use it on the on the lunar lander because Sam says no. Nope. Up oh, there it is. There we go. Got it. There we go. I was looking at the wrong door. There we go. Sam? I think the controls don't work how they're supposed to. But now we have... Oop. Somebody we... left a footprint. Yes. We now have a Spoon Ben Talisman. Oh, boy. It looks like that rocket melted the virtually indestructible case right off the indestructible magic spoon bending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. Well, then, now we have that. Well, I feel like... Wait a minute. If we have... Wait, if we have oh. the bent... We, we have the bent spoon talisman, which means we can... We could probably use it on the, uh... We could probably use it on the park, the bad parking meter that Jimmy Two Teeth's on. Alrighty then. Well, let's give it a try. Well, that was kind of fun. Alright then. <laughs> Where are we and let's get head back the to the moon. Oh, lost cat. Musty. Oh. Well, I hope whoever missing Musty gets that cat back. Well, let's. Well, now we need to head back to the. Uh, we need to head back in. Okay, cool. Super Bowl's not gonna ask us. But uh, for it again. Let's see, where's Pennyworth? Cause I know he was here somewhere. Ah, oh, there he is. How's it going? Silence. I believe I have finally mastered this pinnacle of prestidigitation, the legendary rat from the hat. Hey, hey, Jimmy Tookie. Oh, I just remembered. I can't stand rats. They're vile vermin. Smile when you say that, Beaky. Beaky? Sheesh. I hate this pulling out of the hat business. Next time, I'll find something better to hang on to. Oh, dear, no. There won't be a next time. I shall never do this trick again. In fact, I would appreciate it if you would be so good as to remove the hat from my presence. Sure. Okay, cool. And we got, and we got the magician's hat. And you know, we haven't tried the, the the rainbow elevator yet. Tim Nain That's door. certainly an important looking door. I wonder what's behind it. Something really secret, or something really ugly. I'm guessing. Or a really ugly secret. One can only hope. Well, let's see here. Well, good thing we have the lead, lead vision. Neat. Whoops. <laughs> I guess the door's still there, even though I can see through it. Kind of like Pat Robertson. I see. Well then, well let's do it again, and then 
And I see a bowling ball there, so what if we use it on that? That was cool, but I hope it didn't hurt the bowling ball. There he is! The jig's up, you bliss. We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, because the freelance police are taking you downtown. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. He is. He is. You're just in time for the show. Please, no flash photography. People of Earth. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. And now, so are you. Uh-oh. I don't like this. What have you done? Oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me, and you'll have quite a happy, angry mob on your hands. Not if we... Reverse the effects of the Hypno Beam? I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Who, oh. me? <laughs> well, I'm... <laughs> I'm flattered, but... No, you wouldn't. Because I'm going to drum roll, please. Okay. Separate your bliss. Really? What does that even mean? It means I chop off every part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but <laughs> double the laughs. Hey! Wait, what? Here we go. Goodbye, murderous hand. <gasps> Goodbye, gluttonous stomach. Uh oh. Goodbye, slothful tail. Ow! And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul. Bye-bye. Thanks for the hand, jerkbag! I'm gonna use it to shoot you all! <laughs> oh boy, a stomach! Just what I always wanted. Now come here and let me eat you. <laughs> Great, a tail. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max. I just beat the living vice out of you. <laughs> I'm pure bliss. <sighs> go away, rotten Maxes. I don't like you. Shoo shoo, shoo shoo, go away. Now nothing can stop me. I win. Okay, bye now. Ah, oh, boy. Yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes. Mmm, more. Oh, yes. So good. Oh, oh my. So happy. Max, are you okay? Help me grab that ponytailed freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. But Sam, I love that ponytailed freak show. I want to have his love child. No! <laughs> Max, I swear to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. Well, well, looks like I know what we're going to need to do. found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. Oh, I, I don't I don't like this new Max. Ah, uh, well, oh, good thing we have a spoon talisman that we can use on the giant spork. Alright, now what do we do with this? Let's see. There has to be like something else we could do here. Goody! Hmm. Goody! Moving targets! Alrighty, let's... I see now. If 
Violent Max. Alright, so we're gonna have to wait for a, uh, for a cycle here. And then after that, we're gonna have to end the episode. Oh, I see. I see now. No! And bye-bye, Violet Mix. All of a sudden, I feel a nearly irrepressible desire to shoot at anything that moves. That's the spirit. Not me, knucklehead. Alrighty, and that's going to be the end of today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the content that I do, please consider subscribing because we are almost done this Let's Play. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to have to retrieve the rest of Max's stuff and beat up you boys. Uh, so until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.